I'm Jennifer Farrell for Lamps Plus. We're here for a tour of my Wolf Peak Show House project. This is just under 3,000 square feet, a two-story home set on four acres of land in the beautiful Malibu Hills of California. Let's go explore. We enter the first floor and step into the entryway where I chose the tangle pendant to hang high above the staircase. The interesting shape of this piece has a geometric look, which ties in with some of the other geometric shapes in the home, like here in the kitchen. I absolutely love these pendants. They're bold and unique. The mixed metal combination of black and gold is something you'll see throughout the house. The fabulous octagonal shape really ties in with the tangled pendant above the staircase. As we step into the home office, there are so many beautiful and unique touches in here. The white desk against that deep green wall provides a modern, fresh pop in the office space, and the gold accents connect to other gold elements in the room. White and gold continues throughout the space with our natural stone desk lamp, as well as the Apple bookends. We packed a lot of fun into a small office space. In the living room, we wanted to keep the space relatively open, but still make it feel cozy. I selected the Sky sectional sofa to anchor the space. It's a large plush sectional with a really durable material, so it's extremely inviting, but also user-friendly. Next to that, we have the table lamp in white and wood, which picks up on the other walnut accents around the room. The media room is a great place to hang out, watch the game, and enjoy a little indoor-outdoor entertaining. I chose these chairs because they're beautiful and stylish, but they also make for great gaming chairs, and the faux leather makes them practically bulletproof. The walnut stain on the arms and legs picks up on our walnut-toned ceiling fan. This fan is sleek and modern, yet the warm wood keeps it from feeling too austere. The guest bedroom has the same dark emerald green paint on the focal wall, which is a perfect backdrop for these table lamps. We wanted this room to have an organic inspiration, so the free-flowing shape and rattan-toned material makes the lamps feel earthy and nature-inspired. And in a guest bedroom, I always love to have small touches the guests can use, like this gold jewelry box. Perfect place to put earrings or watches at the end of the night. And the bit of gold is something we see in almost every room here at Wolf Peak. Upstairs in the master bedroom, I chose a ceiling fan instead of a ceiling light because we're in a warm climate here and it's a great room to open up the sliding doors and let that mountain breeze come in. I love the clean black lines of this piece and the hugger fan style fits nicely against the ceiling so it doesn't drop too low into the space. I also wanted to use pendant lights over the bedside tables instead of using table lamps. It's a great way to bring some height into the room, and these Sputnik cubes are like hanging sculptures in the space. In the master bath, we have what's called a wet room, which means the shower and tub are all in one giant enclosed space. So to have a hanging fixture that could be both a focal point and handle extreme moisture, I chose an outdoor pendant called the capsule. It's completely waterproof and has the same black and gold mixed metal finish that we see in other areas of the house. Then by the sinks, I wanted to have pendants hanging from the ceiling so that they would actually be reflected by the mirrors, essentially doubling the look of how many lights are in the room. These pendants have a shape that are similar to the capsule pendant in the wet room, and the black finish with the amber glass is a repeat of the black and gold look we've seen elsewhere. It's a great way to tie in different rooms of your house together by using the same metal finish combination throughout. In the teen bedroom, we wanted to give a boho chic sense of play and fun. This Sputnik mini pendant really does that. Instead of a recessed ceiling can above the bed, this gold starburst adds sparkle and visual interest. Then with the table lamps, we mixed it up a little. The desk is a vintage desk, so we wanted to pick a lamp that had the same distressed off-white finish. But on the dresser, we chose a lamp that picks up on some of the blue tones in the rug and pillows. This dresser was such a great find. I love the black accents and the gray aged wood because it really harmonizes with the tones in our floors beautifully. On the back patio, our lighting was selected not only to be beautiful and modern, but also be compact. It's a long, narrow deck, and we didn't want lights that protruded out too far so that passersby wouldn't accidentally bump into them. On the back entrance to the house, we used down lights that hug the wall pretty close while still providing great light and a cool reveal detail that adds for a little bit of extra bling. We used the same ones on the master balcony. As we round the corner to arrive here on the side patio, we see the same hugger fan as in the master bedroom, 
but this time we've used the light feature as well. It provides great lighting at night and it's a perfect spot in the day for sitting in the swing and getting a great airflow from the fan. In the front of the house, we wanted the lanterns framing our entryway and the media room sliding glass door to be bold statement pieces. The black framework of these octagonal shaped lanterns reflect on other geometrics inside the house and ties in with our black windows and doors beautifully. And they're dimmable, which means we can have really bright light at night or dim them down if we just want a soft glow across the front yard. At the top and bottom of our driveway, we use these post lanterns to really mark the entry of the yard and the driveway as well. They're tall and contemporary and really make a statement as you enter through the front gate. Make sure you catch the other videos in the Wolf Peak series and be sure to visit lambsplus.com for more tips and ideas.